Let's take a look at how technology has influenced education and explore how it will help transform it for years to come. In 1890, the first chalkboards were introduced, a piece of technology that has certainly remained in our classroom for over a hundred years. Does this tool look familiar? It should. In 1905, the stereoscope was introduced, a three-dimensional viewing tool. Google has since introduced us to a digital version called Google Cardboard. There's nothing like the smell of a fresh ditto. By 1940, the ditto machine was introduced. I'm sure you can remember the smell of the fresh copies produced by this manually cranked machine. In 2006, Dr. Ruben Puentadora developed the SAMR model. It is a model designed to help educators infuse technology into teaching and learning. The SAMR model is based on four levels. The bottom two levels of substitution and augmentation are designed to enhance instruction, while the top two levels of modification and redefinition are designed to help teachers transform learning experiences to result in higher levels of academic achievement. The first level of substitution allows technology to serve as a substitute. An example of this might include having students type a short story into a word processing tool instead of having them handwrite it. There is no change to the task. Google Apps for Education supports this level of substitution. In 2006, Google released Docs, Sheets, and Slides. These three tools are similar to the Microsoft Office tools of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Moving on up to augmentation. Technology at this level still substitutes, but with some functional improvement. For instance, in that typed essay using a word processor, students are able to use spell check, tools for formatting, or the research feature in Google Docs. The task is still the same, but the technology augments it with functional improvements. One of my favorite tools to augment instruction is Google Forms. Google Forms can easily be used to create formative, summative, or common assessments. These assessments can provide both the student and teacher with immediate feedback. We are now at the modification level. At this level, technology should allow for significant task redesign. Keeping the same short story example, students can use Google Docs to share and collaborate on the same story at the same time. They can also provide real-time feedback that wouldn't have been possible before. Finally, at the redefinition level, students are now completing tasks that could not be done without the use of technology. This level is related to the higher order thinking levels in Bloom's taxonomy, like analyzing, creating, and evaluating. At this level, students are generating questions, researching, sharing, collaborating, and connecting with not only their classrooms, but with a larger global community. In 2016, North Penn began its digital initiative. Through this initiative, students and teachers have been provided with a Chromebook to begin the journey of transforming education at North Penn. All of this leads to one monumental question. How will you rise to the challenge of redefining and transforming your instruction?